Well, hello there. Welcome back to another session of The Outer Worlds. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button. It sends a lot of positivity toward my way. Plus, it hits it out to the universe. <laughs> Alright, if you want to see other videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Well, let's get into it. talk to yeah let's talk to Parvati about Jin Lei what up Big P hey captain can I get your temperature on something real quick <laughs> is the ship about to blow up what no if it were I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead so, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. How bad can it be? She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Everybody's different, don't worry about it. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close. Not anymore. I don't know. June and I talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? If that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. All right, now... I'm gonna hit this up. Cause we need to get that stuff from that lady, I guess.
Roseway Lake and Good. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to learn about what the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? How can I be of assistance? Alright, um... Never mm -hmm. mind. Alright, Felix, you get is your time to uh Time to shine, see what you're about. I need Pavardi just in case. I'm thinking I'm taking Pavardi because she's a mechanic and we're looking for a distress signal, so let's do this. Right, buddy. Yeah, boss. Never mind. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Let's see what this is about. These things. Here we go. Ooh. Auto mag pistol. Thank you very much. I will take that. Something chewed clear through that armor. What armor? I'm gonna take a tactical shotgun. Huh. So I'm guessing a monster. Is that gunfire? Uh, sounds like it. Hey, 
Hey, guy. What's up? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Uh, can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. So the raps broke loose? Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Uh, what can you tell me about them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. Them's good eating. What do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. What? Well, why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Take it easy. Oh, before I forget. Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Alright, we gotta find out where that distress call came from. Come to end my life. Let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? No, I'm not. You must be Anton Crane. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though. Truth be told. Under control. That what you call hand? <laughs> that what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by raptors? Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Let's hear him out before judging him. What happened here? An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. Why well, cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I've gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Well, I guess you don't need my help then. No, please, hold a moment. Our security forces have proven themselves to be quite worthless. You seem someone not averse to risking your life if the pay were right. Might I interest you in an arrangement of sorts? Depends on what you need from me. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they need not kill me. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea of what to stake here. Oh, hang on, guys. I need to learn how to read. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea of what's at stake here. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make the situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. 
is all about toothpaste, seriously. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? All right, go ahead. While Please doing do. research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. You can catch it however you like it. It's still just toothpaste. Uh, diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. It's not worth your life. I wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. This is ridiculous. I'm leaving. Please, I'm begging you. It's just in my safe. Look, I'm trusting you with the code. All right, fine. Say no more. I'll remove the credits and retrieve your research. Want me to deal with the rat to Dom's too? Yes. But don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the grand architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. And all you care about is how it affects you? I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I mistake it for? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. You see why people might think you're callous, though, can't you? I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. All right, guys, let's roll. I might have some I info that we can give to Gladys. He's gotta be all alone. Scared. Gotta keep forgetting where Twin is which. Uh, we tried to uh, sneak by this thing. Any fights that we've been in, it's kind of been uh, rough.
All right, cool. That's gotta be where Mr. Jameson is. I hope he's okay. Unexpected noise. Oh, so Jesus. I know how to Here they come! Person. You got it, Captain! Get him. Thanks, Marty. Alright, let's clear the perimeter and then go in. Down, Pete. Everyone all right? We could sell some of these tactical shotguns somewhere. Good, Felix. Security lockdown. All personnel, please report to assisted workstations reporting suspicious activity to the nearest safety engineer. Try Auntie Clearo's handy off. A surgical stain remover of choice. Lift lockdown. Hallway door. Hallway door unlocked. A's protocol. Unauthorized entry will be marked inside. Supervisor Crane A's records. Okay. We need a new code for the armory lock over in the storage facility. Make it go. So Orion's Orson can't sneak there again and do not write it down this time. Use your brains. The month of your birthday. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. So these guys are. So these guys are genius.
Wish we could reprogram those things. Auntie Cleo's experimental notes. Raptodon fluid ingestion test. Determine the maximum amount of raptodon and digestive acid that can be safely ingested by humans before adverse effects present in themselves. Proposed procedure. Slowly introduce increasing amounts of Raptodon digestive acid into the evening meals of randomly selected workers and observed their overall health. Oh man, what the hell? Raptodon fluid ingestion test results. Minor stomach pain and nausea safe. Minor stomach pain, extreme nausea safe. Major stomach pain, debilitating nausea, some vomiting potentially unsafe in the workplace. Temporary blindness, frankly vomiting, patient unable to describe pain, unsafe, unable to record symptoms as patient died within the hour. Jesus. Human testing? Yeah, I'm not opening that door. Uh oh. Alright, buddy, sneak around. Okay, so apparently we can deal with the robots or we can deal with the animal. Vardy. Where's Vaddy? D seven nine one six one one. Reuben Porter, Chief Site Safety Engineer from Crane A. Okay. 
Okay, I got all this stuff, but... Rap mimicking a human's voice. I saw that in cereal once. Did someone lift the lockdown? What up, dude? How the wait, I know you. You're responsible for the Emerald Vale fiasco. How the hell did you get in here? I'm very sneaky, or perhaps raps aren't very observant. Take your pick. No, not I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Anton sent me to get you. Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. You're upset that he sent me to rescue you. Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. Well, whether he gives a shit about you or not, at least you're alive. Now let's get out of here. We still need to find something to give to Gladdy. Alright, we're gonna talk to this guy again. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. I found your associate, James. He's safe now. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. You know, there's some more. There's more to care about than black markets and paperwork. Not in this colony, there isn't. But success here will get me to Byzantium. I'll have recognition, money, proper facilities. It's the only place to lead a life of meaning in the system. Suppose it's none of my business. Alright, yeah, let me get this guy safe. I ought to have some secrets I can get to Byzantium, give to Gladi. Alright, let's look at the map. 